right, all right. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hopefully everybody excited about being alive because God still got you here, so you still got purpose, you still got purpose. We got some John P. Key going in the background here. A little old school music for y'all, a little old school music. Something about God going to show up, show up. So he's going to show up on today. As you are coming in, this is Pastor Cardell. I just want to say thank you for being here. You are with us right now at Amazing Church. We have church every single day. Every single day we have church, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is part of the EDU, every day until. We've been here since March 18th, and we're going to be here until God says otherwise. So call your people. Tell them, get on the line. Go ahead, tag somebody. Share this. Come on, get them in, get them in, get them in, get them in. Again, we got John P. Key in the background talking about show up. God going to show up. He always does, and he always will. Come on, come on. We say at Amazing Church that we're going to enter. We're going to enter these gates from Thanksgiving. We're going to enter his courts with praise. So send up those digital praise. Send up the hearts. Send up the claps. Come on. If you got a watch party, come on. Start that watch party. Like, comment, share, tag it. Come on. Get the message out. You are a digital evangelist on today. You are a digital evangelist. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Please let us know what city, what state, what country you're calling in from. Call us and thank you for being here. IG, thank you for being here. Facebook, thank you for being here. Thank you for all of those ambassadors that we got. We continue to get more ambassadors all the time. Thank you for being a part of the amazing expansion. Come on in. Come on in. God's going to show up. He's going to show up today. I'm telling you, I got something good for you. We on the wall. Why do we say we on the wall? Just like in Jerusalem, they're on the wall every single day. And we're praying every single day. We're praying every single day. Let me let me do this for, I'm going to do a Mama Katie. Woo! We cut him just right there. We cut we cut John P. Key just right there. We're going to bring him back in a little bit. So good morning, good morning, good morning. We're on the wall. We say we're on the wall just like the people who are in Jerusalem. They've been praying every single day, 24-7, putting their petitions on the wall, asking God and petitioning God for things on behalf of, uh, in, in, in the name of Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth. So come on in. And do what we do. We about to we about to go. We about to go kind of deep today. We about we, I'm about to hit you with something today. Uh, it's something that I wasn't even planning on doing. Y'all know how you got something planned and then something got like flips. Well, this is one of those things that that, that flip. And it, I was thoroughly enjoyed by it. So I think that you'll be uh, uh, enjoyed with it as well. So come on in. Uh, at the bottom there, you see uh, on Facebook there's a link that is pinned there. That's for your prayer request and also your praise report. We, we, love, we love the prayer requests, but man, we love those prayer. Those, those prayer requests is awesome, but the praise reports, they just enlighten and they encourage and they empower people. So thank you for those prayer requests, but man, we want to know about those praise reports as well. We can't say that we always praying to God and he don't answer, right? Oh, no, he's an answering God. So we just want you to tell us what he's been doing for you. Again, <clears throat> if you don't have access to Facebook and uh, you're on the call or you're on IG, go ahead and send us an a, a email to admin at amazingchurch.com. If you have a prayer request that's kind of personal in nature, uh, you don't want to put it out there for everybody, send it to admin at amazingchurch.com. That'll get funneled back to the prayer leaders and uh, someone will get back in touch with you within the next 24 to 48 hours. So come on in, come on in. If you see somebody that you always see, tell them hi. If you see somebody who you haven't seen before, tell them hi. If you're a first time, if you're a first time visitor, if you're a first time uh, calling in, if you're a first time uh, on IG, if you're a first time on Facebook, just go ahead and say, hey, I'm here for the first time. And when they say I'm here for the first time, y'all go ahead and show them some love. Go and share it, show them some love. We want to know where you're from too. Let us know where you're from. Here at Amazing Church, we have this EDU. It's been every day until. It started during the pandemic and we just continue to roll with it. Uh, God has been increasing the numbers. God has been increasing the word. He's been increasing the knowledge. He's been increasing his people because thoroughly of the word of God. We apply the word of God today so that we can live life what? A better way. We say that your breakthrough is on the other side of your consistency. Well, the opposite of that is also true. Uh, you can be inconsistently consistent and your breakthrough will not be on the other side of inconsistency. So I'll say it again. Our breakthrough, your breakthrough, is on the other side of your consistency. As far as a note, the only note that I have for you is like we got Operation Valentine going on at Amazing Church. And what we're doing is 
right now we're collecting uh, cards, like handwritten cards, you know, the things that people used to do. Um, it's not all about the E stuff all the time, but we're collecting handwritten cards uh, to shower some love for the people who are over at the, the Baylor Scott and White Hospital that is closest to us. And we're going to uh, take care of some stuff uh, for, for those for those people. I can't put too much out of that because somebody might be on here. They might, might leak it. But we're going to take care of those people. So uh, if you want to go ahead and send some cars into Amazing Church. Go ahead and do that. Uh, for those who are local, the church is going to be open. We have baskets set up in the lobby where you can uh, drop off your handwritten cards. And so that we can, when we bring that over to those people, they'll, we're going to shower them uh, with love. And those are our first responders. Those are people who are in, in the healthcare care uh, industry. Those are the people who have really been on the front line uh, during all of this time having patient-to-patient -patient contact. So uh, that, that's, my, that's my big announcement for the day. Now, uh, for those of you who are here for the first time, and those of you who are here, uh, some, some veterans, y'all know how we do it, right? We have an inspiration, we have a motivation, and then we have an application. The inspiration is the direct word of God, straight from the, the Holy Scripture itself. A motivation, a little bit of a background, some encouragement there, and then we give you the application. How can you apply the word of God that we have talked about today to your life so you can live life? What a better way. And then we seal it with a holy prayer. We seal it with the holy prayer. And then every night, then we have a nugget at the back of it. So if you're ready, go ahead and say you're ready. If you're ready, go ahead and say you're ready. Go ahead and say you're ready. Man, I, I got something for you today. Got something for you today. If you're ready, go ahead and say you're ready. Oh, hey, look, y'all, give, give, give some, uh, some hand claps to our pastor, Pastor Derek A. Golden, uh, the visionary, uh, the senior pastor of amazing church. Uh, give it up for him. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. He don't always like the accolades, but man, you got to appreciate the gift that God has placed on the inside of the body of Christ. And you got to appreciate the gifts every now and then just let them know that they are appreciative. All right. And you know, it, it goes, it goes a long way when you can just say, you know, I, I thank God for the man of God. So if you thank God for the man of God, send up some hearts, send up some thumbs, uh, send up some, some, some claps, uh, bless him right now on, on, on Facebook and your comments. You say, just say, 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 man of God, we bless you. All right. So let the blessings flow, uh, to the man of God. We, we, we love our pastor and we thank him for being birthed in the earth. But if you're ready, Okay, if you're ready, if you're ready, here we go. Here's the inspiration for today. Inspiration for today. Acts 10 and 39 through 40. And uh, that's Sapphire, I know y'all on there. Get ready, get, get ready. Uh, Acts 10, 39 through 40. It says this. We are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on the cross. But God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. Oh, I think I better read it again. Maybe I have to go a little bit slow. Sometimes sometime I get caught up and I just start talking fast because things are going on in my mind and they don't really you know, come out of my mouth. I just want to say it again for you. Acts 10 and 39 through 40. We, us, are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews in Jeru and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on the cross. Here's the big piece though. But God raised him from the dead on the what? The third day and caused him to be seen. On the third day, I mean, we're already seeing something here. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, God works in threes, okay? You got, you got, you got, uh, you got mist, you got, you got water, you got, you got ice, okay? Those, those things come in threes. The, the, the Holy Spirit, the triune of God. God said, I'm showing you a secret even before I reveal the secret later on. He said on the third day, he, 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 he rose him from the dead and caused him to be seen. I don't know how many of you have ever been felt like you uh, were left for dead and like it was all over. But I'm telling you, God going to show up. God going to show up. That's that's why I had that song. But he, he, he going to show up. I got to give you your motivation. I got to give you your, your motivation. I'm taking the motivation in a little different uh, twist. Still the same, but a little. I'm going to put a little twist on it. All right. Uh, your motivation is this. <clears throat> if God came to see about Jesus, what makes you think? He won't come and see about you. Well, that's, that's the question. If God came to see about Jesus, his son, what makes you think that he won't 
come to see about you. And not right about that time, there's some people that says, yeah, but, okay, I'm, a, I'm, about, I'm about to deal with the yeah, but, the, the yeah, but people. Because when you say, yeah, but, you, you, you think that your circumstance is special. You think that no one else in the whole entire world, that all these billions of years, that no one has ever had to deal with the situation that you are dealing with right now. But I came to encourage you this morning to tell you that if God did it for Jesus, he can definitely do it for you. But you say, Lord, yeah, but that was Jesus, okay? That was that was his son. And you know, you know, fathers, you know, show up uh, for their for, for their son. That, I'm, I'm not like Jesus. Now I got to do something. I got to build a case to increase your faith. I'm about to build a case right now to increase your faith. I gotta put some bullets in your chamber because I know this is the uh, you know the ninth month. I mean, this the second month and the ninth day of 2021. But I'm telling you, God is still on the throne. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing changed. It, 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 the world keeps going around. It, it's cold. It's summer. It's he, it, all these things going on. But God is still on the throne. So I'm telling you, if he can do it for Jesus, he'll do it for you. But now I got to build a case to increase your faith. Let's put some bullets in your chamber. Here, um, the, the bullets are the words of God. Acts 10, 34 through 35. Acts 10, 34 through 35. Then Peter began to speak. He said this, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism. In 35, he says this, but accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. That's your first bullet. Here's your second bullet. Hebrews 2 and 11. So now Jesus and the ones he makes holy have the same father. Well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I, I hope, I'm, I hope I'm, building, I'm building my case to increase your faith because you say, well, he, he came for Jesus, but will he come for me? Because Jesus was, 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 was his son. Hebrews 2 and 11 says this. So now Jesus and the ones he makes holy have the same father? IG, you heard? You got the same father, all right? That is why Jesus is not ashamed to call him or call them what? His brothers and sisters. I'm trying to increase your faith. Romans 8 and 29. You, you need some more bullets. I'm putting some bullets in your gun today because you're going to be coming up against some stuff. You're coming up some stuff mentally. You might be coming up against some stuff physically. You got to have these bullets in your repertoire. You got to have these bullets in your, you. Got to, you got to be fully loaded all the time. Let me give you another bullet for your gun. All right. Romans 8 and 29. For God knew his people in advance. He chose them to become what? Like his son and that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. <laughs> um, you got a big brother, okay? You have an elder brother in the name of Jesus Christ of, of, of Nazareth. Oh, we, we, we breaking some stuff right now. Hopefully, I'm, I'm shifting your mind a little bit because it, it's something about being in the family, all right? When you when you're in the family and you got a you got a big brother, okay? Things things are kind of different, okay? When big brother shows up, I got to give you one more bullet. Here, here's your, your your last bullet, John five and nineteen. So Jesus explained, John 5 and 19. So Jesus explained, I tell you the truth. The son can do nothing by himself. He does only what he sees the father do. Whatever the father does, the son also does. I got I to gotta bring that home for you. Jesus was on the cross. They said he was, was dying or, or dead. They left him for dead. Jesus saw the Father, he's the Son, he saw the Father come and take him and resurrect him and bring him back to life. In John 5 and 19, Jesus says, I can only do what I see my Father do. And if you are Jesus' brothers and sisters in the flesh, in the spirit, if he saw his Father do it for him, why do you think he won't do it for you? Come on. You're, you, do, do you see where I'm going today? I'm telling you, he will absolutely 100% you can take it to the bank show up for you in your situation all right that's your motivation for the day that's your motivation for the day uh, here, here's the application here's the application give you a little background here there might be some people who you, you you've been in church for a long time I'm talking to the person this is your first time you don't know nothing about church okay uh, you, you, I got to break it down for you like this um, there, there are some names in which we call Call, call Jesus. Okay, here's your application. 
we, we call him uh, the Rose of Sharon, okay? That, you're like, okay, the Rose of Sharon, that don't mean anything to me. But for you who have been in church for a while, that means something to you. Uh, we call him the, the balm in Gilead, you know, the healing in Gilead. For, if you've been in church for a while, that means something to you. But this is your first time. You've never heard that term before. You, you don't know what that means. That don't, that don't connect with you. We call him our master, our king, our, our lord. Okay, what, what is that? You're talking about slavery or something like that? No, no, no. We're talking about freedom through the master, through the king, and through the lord. We, we who have been in church for a while, we call him Emmanuel. Uh, we call him Yahweh. We call him Yeshua the Christ. Okay, these are all different names names that we call upon Jesus to extract different things that we need out of him at that time. And as you grow into the things of that, you will understand that. But if you don't know that, I just need you to understand one thing. Here is your application. This is your application. Know that Jesus is also your big brother. Okay. You, you can relate that. Okay. You got to know that Jesus is also your big brother brother. I, I surveyed the world and I'm looking at things and see how things are going on in the world. And, uh, and, and, and there's this, you know, spirit, uh, you know, Jezebel. Jezebel will try to make you compromise. Jezebel will try to make you uh, break composure. Uh, Jezebel will, will, will hit you with heavy doses of, of overwhelm, you know, excessive pressure, uh, excessive gossip, excessive information, uh, excessive, excessive uh, sexuality, all, all these things, you know, the spirit of overwhelm. Jezebel will try to do that and try to make you feel like all hope is lost. But I'm telling you, you got a big brother. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, got a big brother. His, his name Jesus. You can call him any name you want, but I, I need to break it down for you so you can know that you're in the family. Okay, when the big brother shows up on the scene, everything changes. When big brother, it's like a big dog coming up on the scene. All right, when big brother shows up, things things shift, things things change. Right, you got to understand that the spirit of overwhelm will try to get you to commit to making a right now decision. Anybody ever made had like like you were forced to make like a right now decision and you you got you got uh you know taken aback and you're like man that was a you know two seconds later you're like that was a bad decision okay it's like uh, guys and, and girls in relationships. Guys, I'm but guys, I'm, I'm about I'm about to blow everything up for men right now. Okay. Guys, I'm I'm about to blow it up. Ladies, you're gonna be blessed by this. Okay. Like the, the spirit of overwhelm is like the devil, okay? The, the devil knows if he can kiss you, he can get you. Mm-hmm, yeah. The devil knows if he can kiss you, if he can get you just to commit to the kiss, okay, he can get you. Because what's a kiss? A kiss is an upward persuasion for a lower invasion. <laughs> yeah, that's what a kiss is. A kiss is an upward persuasion for a lower invasion. You get the spirit of overwhelm. And see, one of the things that we don't teach in church all the time, we, we, we teach about you know, uh, in relationships, you know, love, but we never talk about passion. Okay. Love, love might be able to keep you, but passion will bring you over to a situation where you never thought you would go. And that's what the spirit of Jezebel would try to do. Overwhelm you, you know, just get that kiss so they can take you off course and get you into a path where you never thought you would want to go. You, 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 you satisfy with the bonus and, and God said, I got full benefits for you. All right. Uh, let me break it down for you like this, because when you are in a family, the family fights for you. I'm from Booty, Louisiana. I, I keep telling y'all about that. Y'all like, what is this place, Booty? I am from a Booty, a proud citizen. Okay, that's where I grew up, Booty, Louisiana. And let me tell you, one of the things that you don't want to mess around with in Booty, Louisiana, is anybody who got the last name Isaac, <laughs> anybody who got the last name Ingram. And anybody who got the last name Brown. Because if, if you pick a fight with one, whoo, everybody's showing up, okay? My wife, when we first started dating, she told her grandpa who, who, who I was, and he like, uh, he, 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 who? Uh, don't people, don't people fight? And uh, she's like, yeah, uh, but, but that's, that's the part. I'm just telling you, there's some, when, when, when you got people like Magoo, uh, Hakamo, uh, Peanut, and, and, and David Lee, when people like that, you, you got people who got nicknames like that, when, when they show up, think things are about to change. I'm, I'm telling you. And that, uh, another little town, uh, you know, further down from, from where uh, I live, was a place called Kelowna. Now, the first three letters of the city name is Kill, all right? And it, 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 uh, they, they know I'm, I'm, I'm being real, okay? If anybody with the last name Lockett shows up, game over. 
Oh, you, you, you don't mess with the lockets. There's just some, there's some people you don't mess with. Because when the big brother shows up, every single thing changes. I'm telling you, on today, Jesus is your elder brother. Jesus is your big brother. And because he saw what God did for him, he is willing and able to do the same thing for you. You just got to be in the right mode. You just got to be in the right space. You just got to be in the right timing. You just got to be in the mindset of that you are an overcomer and nothing, nothing in this world can overtake you at all. You saying what, Pastor C? Are you saying that uh, you know a believer can you know be overcome with the with the spirit of the enemy? Well, everything that we say at Amazing Church has a scripture attached. So the best thing I can do is give you a scripture. Acts 10 and 38 says, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, it's a sad state when you can control your devil. It's a sad straight, It's a sad state when you can uh, control the demonic that you know that's on the inside of you. And so when the believer shows up, I'm showing up today to tell you that we come against that very spirit right now. And the same power that Jesus had while he walked the earth is the same power that we have right now. And again, it says Jesus went all throughout, all throughout. Healing those who were under the power, the influence, the inclination of the devil so that they might be free. I'm here to tell you today that you have the right to be free. That's why, that's why, that's why we're doing this every day until we're proclaiming it from the rooftops that you absolutely have the right to be free. I hope that bless you. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we thank you for every single thing that you continue to do for us. We thank you, God, for everything that you've made. We thank you that you have made this day. You thank, we thank you that you have made even the internet and the airwaves so that we can uh, hear a word of God, a fresh revelation of who you are. God, we thank you for being awesome. We thank you for being great. We thank you for being mighty. We thank you for being strong. We thank you for being our strong tower. We thank you for being the one that goes before us. We thank you for being our buckler. We thank you for being our shield. God, we thank you for just waking us up on this morning. And God, even as we, we pray right now, forgive us for all of our sins. I thank you, God, that you... Uh, eradicate even the things that we've thought about this morning, the things that we did on yesterday. We just want to have a clean slate before we get this day started. So God, as we are going to work, as we are uh, at home, as, we, as we're working, as we're getting kids ready for school, we say right now, we just take a moment and say, purify us, oh Lord. We thank you, God. And as we hear about you showing up and we know that you show up, God, I'm praying specifically right now for people who have addictions, uh, any type of addiction. You said you are the one who can break asunder anything that would try to get your people off track. You are the one, oh God, who said that you are a way of escape. So we thank you for being a way of escape for those. We think we come against uh, the, the spirit of sickness, whether it be COVID, any type of viral disease or anything that anyone is dealing with. We, God, I just know that you're going to show up in that situation. God, we thank you for people who are in the spirit of, of uh, just trying to make through, just trying to get through, just trying to cope because they've, they've lost loved ones. They've lost some loved ones just recently. They've lost someone, uh, you know, maybe a year ago. And every time that date comes up, it messes with them. It gets them uh, hyped up. It gets them into a state that they almost want to go into a depression. So God, I thank you for the showing up for those individuals right now. God, those who are brokenhearted, those who are in relationships and the relationship ended in such a tumultuous way that they just couldn't figure it out. They just didn't think that person would do them like that. A person who they had relationship with, a person who they loved, a person who they cared for and they thought cared about them. God, I need you to show up for that person right now. That person who's looking for a job, God, who, 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 who likes to be in a position where they're earning and taking care of their family. And because of certain situations, they just can't do it right now. I'm telling you, right, put your resume in again. Put your resume in again. Put your resume in again. And I believe that God is going to show up for you. God, the person who's trying to make uh, the rent, who's trying to make the mortgage, who's trying to make ends meet because of the job situation, I think that you're doing something 
holy and alliancing behind the scenes to take care of them. I think that today they're going to get a phone call that, hey, here's the provision. They're going to get it today. Today they're going to get a phone call saying that there, there's a waiver in place. They're going to get a phone call today that says, listen, uh, I understand your situation. You've been faithful all of this time. We're going to give you an extension. Uh, that person who says, look, I just want to give it back. And God said, no, nope, I made a provision for you. I thank you for showing up for that person. God, that person who is on the call for the very first time, that person who's listening to this sometime in the future, whether it be today or several years from now, who says, I just want to have an encounter with you. I thank you, God, for that person that you're showing up in their lives right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for those churches, uh, that pastor who has been laboring, who's been toiling, and because of the influx of the economy, every single thing that they had was built up on the church, and because the church seems to be folding, it's causing turmoil even inside their household. I think that you embolden the pastor to preach the word of God, to teach the word of God, and to rely upon the faith of Jesus and not the faith of himself or herself. I thank you, God, for being that strong tower that people can run into on today and understand that you are a powerful God. God, hmm, they left Jesus for dead, but you came back for him. Jesus is our elder brother, and we thank you for having him have walked the earth, who knows our trials. He knows the situation. He knows the things that we have experienced. He, he, he's been the son of God and the son of man all at the same time. And he knows the very things that we're dealing with. So God, we thank you for having someone that we can rely upon, someone that we can go to. And we bless it and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Man, I, I hope you were, were blessed by that. Uh, let me let me crank my boy uh, John John P Key up again. Uh, I really hope you were blessed by that. Uh, if you were blessed by that, just send some hearts up, uh, send some thumbs up. Uh, we do everything and we seal it in the name of Jesus on today. I think that as you go about your day, as you go about what you're doing, uh, the best I can give you is some some nuggets for everybody. Ig, thank you for being here. Uh, callers, thank you for being here. Facebook, thank you for being here. Uh, nugget number one, hey, let God be seen in you. Let God be seen in you. Uh, it, today is the day. Today is the day where you show yourself strong. Today is the day where you see how the faith, the faith that you have as a believer is going to show up. All right? Today is a day where you don't blow up. You let God show up. You got that? Today. Today is the day. You don't blow up, you let God show up. In that job, you're dealing with somebody who's been, I mean, just a thorn in your side, let God show up, you don't blow up. Uh, in that relationship, ah, don't blow up, let God show up. I'm telling you, he's going to show up and he's going to show out. Y'all be blessed on today. Love somebody unconditionally. Let them know that you care for them. Uh, the last thing I, I'll ask you to do is this. Just call somebody without wanting something and just say, hey, I just called to check on you. Make sure that you're okay. Um, I'm just kind of acting like your big brother, making sure that you're okay. Y'all be blessed on today. Y'all take care. I'll see you. This is Pastor Cardell signing off with Amazing Church. Take care.